Vancouver. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to the little town of Argo, but that is 7,600 west and 6,300 south. Well, it's uh, south is, you have to go north to get to 6,300 south. And this is where I was raised up. And uh, there, when I came to the big city, I was lost. I came here in 1951. And in my little town, as you went up the street, you spoke to everybody on both sides of the street. When you came, when you returned home, you did the same thing. And don't you dare pass those people the second time and not speak. My school was an integrated school, and at the most, we had maybe five blacks in a class. Everybody else was white. And uh, it was certainly an advantage uh, to be going to an integrated school like that because the bankers, the president of the bank, his son was in my room. And that's when I first heard of an encyclopedia. I didn't even know that encyclopedias existed. When I went to college in 19... 56, I had never, I didn't know what an atlas was. Can you believe that? I did not know. And I went all the way downtown to the main library, uh, I guess, yes, to find an atlas. And there was one upstairs in our local library. So uh, I, I can understand what you're saying when you say there is no contact, there is no knowledge. Mm -hmm. But because I wasn't brought up in a, an isolated area, but there were so few of us, and our little knowledge was so limited. And my mother would not allow me to go to the local library because I had to go across town about five blocks to get to that. And uh, that was just a no-no. I had a half of a dictionary, a paperback of Webster's, and I think it started with the letter L, M, or something. <laughs> because I remember a word my mother would use, and I tried to find it, and I never found that word because she was, uh, she was really abbreviating the word. Ah. Oh. So thank God that I got to the big city and learned a few things. <laughs> Where did you go to college at? Uh, so far as racism is concerned, that was not a factor in my life until I got to high school. And it was so subtle then until I didn't recognize it. And... Uh, One teacher, the gym teacher, my high school gym teacher, her name was Miss Moore. She was very prejudiced, but I didn't know what prejudice meant at that time. And uh, the fact that I was an honor student from first grade through high school, uh, that shielded me from, uh, they, were, they were looking up to me all of the students, if they wanted to know something, they found Mamie. And uh, <clears throat> I could usually come up with the answers in spite of my home being so devoid of any educational materials. But my mother had been a school teacher in the rurals of Mississippi, and she had quite a bit of basic knowledge. and. Uh, so with her help and my own ambition, uh, my reward throughout grammar school was the first row, first seat, because the smartest kid earned that seat. And after about third grade, 
they just reserved that seat for me. Nobody contested who was going to sit in that seat. And uh, it would be mine until the first marking period. And by then, I had actually earned it. It, it was mine to keep until the next marking period. Uh, now, when I got to high school, my reputation had preceded me. And uh, we didn't have the first row, first seat. But I made the dean's list and stayed on that for four years. And actually, I was number two in my class. But uh, I was supposed to be the salutatorian. But I guess prejudice had kind of uh, seeped in, and I didn't get that honor. I know the girl who uh, who became the salutatorian, uh, and uh, she was maybe number 25, 30. She was way down the line, but she was white. I went to Chicago Teachers College, mm -hmm. which is now Chicago State University. Mm -hmm. uh, my master's is from Loyola University. And uh, then, well, that, that's all. Argo High School, Argo Elementary and High, Chicago Teachers, Chicago State University, and Loyola. Uh, after my son's death, I had to start a new life, mm -hmm. and I started that life by going to college. Mm -hmm. Yes, I had wanted to, consciously wanted to be a teacher since the age of seven, and, uh, but I'd never seen a black teacher. They didn't exist. Mm -hmm. But uh, lo and behold, I found out there were black teachers in the world, but not in Argo, Illinois. Uh, I had to come all the way to Chicago to find a white teacher, a, a black teacher. Mm 